Okay, in this video we're going to demonstrate uh, the ability to print uh, general inventory item labels straight from the QuickBooks items list. Now just I for those of you that are maybe familiar with Label Connector already, we can use purchase orders, sales orders, invoices. Uh, we can all also use item receipts via the purchase orders window. Uh, but we can also, you know, so this allows us to quickly pull up items and print labels, but we can also do is we can use the entire items list from QuickBooks uh, to generate and print labels. So uh, if you wanted to, you know, like let's say search on, here you can see we have wildcard, uh, like sort of a autofill feature where you can search on various uh, things that come up with the search criteria. Uh, so if you want to you know, be just searching by letters and things like that, you can search all fields or just in the description. Um, so if you want to then like filter your items like this, um, what this allows you to do is use any item in your items list, filter it in various ways. Uh, you can see whether it's you know an item that's on sales orders or purchase orders. Uh, very useful information for deciding what you want to print labels for. Um, and then if you want to then go ahead and execute the print job on this, uh, let's just choose as an example uh, this particular item. Um, you can see it has total quantity of six on hand. Now we just use this as the print quantity by default uh, just as to kind of give you a default quantity to use but uh, you can go ahead and change that uh, by using the edit function edit the value to print two labels. Uh, let's just go ahead, I've created a label here already, a uh, target label, and we'll use the uh, XPS uh, printer from Microsoft to just go ahead and just uh, print the test label here. Go ahead and do that. Okay, that's generated that label. Um, let's take a look at that. Printed result. Okay, so you can see there we did um, two labels for that item. On that particular label design um, I showed the item name um, and the item description and the sales price. You can also do the item name alone without the category uh, so you can do it either way. Um, anyway so just just a helpful video here to show you that if you've got um, lots of inventory, inventory already that is not labeled and you'd like to go ahead and get that um, fully labeled in your warehouse or if you just need general items uh, printing of labels uh, we can execute that using the whole items list. Now what our technology here is we are storing and caching um, a background copy of your items out of QuickBooks and you can resync that at any time. Uh, it does it fairly rapidly. We've te tested this for up to 30,000 items. Um, so if you're creating new items in your system um, and you've just created them today, you can resync the items and get those to appear in our window as well. So uh, we support uh, several fields from the uh, items definition as well as custom item fields from the items. Hope this helps uh, if you're interested in getting labels done more quickly out of QuickBooks. Out of QuickBooks.